One day. Get it right. Cut it. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. Fantastics. Bye, Dad. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate uh, that. You have the opportunity to play either Gonzaga or uh, Arizona. Does it matter to you who you play? No, nah, it really doesn't matter. You know, whoever wins, you know, that's what we prepare for. So it really doesn't matter. If you do get Arizona, are you going to look at it as, uh, you know, come back to bench? Uh, well, a little bit. You know, you know, they uh, beat us, you know, I think the second game of the year. So uh, we'll look forward to playing whoever we play. So it doesn't matter to us, though. Will you guys go to the game tomorrow? Uh, no, nah, we can't go to the game you know, unless we get some tickets, but I don't think nobody getting no tickets. Where are you going to watch the game from? At my house. How much did you enjoy this trip, uh, getting the two wins that you guys set out to uh, Well, I enjoyed it a lot. You know, that's what we wanted to do. We got there, got two wins, so that's what we did. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be tuned in, you know, see who we play. Uh, are you, uh, do you have that you want to see win between Arizona and Gonzaga? Uh, no, I'm not really in favor for anyone. Just want to see a good basketball game. Does it matter to you who you play? No, it don't matter at all. So, if you end up playing Arizona, I mean, do you want revenge? Do you want to, you know, you want to take it? Uh, well, that's not my thoughts on getting revenge. I just want to, you know, go out and get the next win. What's it like coming back to all these fans? Oh, it's lovely. I mean, they're always there to, to support us. They've been there all season, so, you know, it's just a great feeling. Yeah, you know, our fans do a great job of traveling, so we're, we're expecting a pretty big crowd. Quick little drive. Really glad for our guys, and um, the show has been phenomenal since, you know, the day I stepped on campus, which was like 20 years ago. But um, to see that transition happen and be a part of it originally, and to see what's going on now and getting back to the Sweet 16, um, just an amazing feeling for, for San Diego State men's basketball. What sort of things do you uh, try to teach them with regard to Gonzaga and, and, and Arizona playing tomorrow? I mean, they, what can they take from that game tomorrow? Um, they'll, they'll sit down and watch, you know, as, as having, having a day off, guys will be able to relax, but sit down and watch. We've already played Arizona once, um, and we are familiar with who Gonzaga is and what they do and how they do it. So um, just guys getting a little bit of wind down R&R, &R, um, but then paying attention with a little bit of detail, but mainly prepping after that, getting the film ready so the guys can sit down and have their mind ready to, to, to get focused on the next opponent, whoever wins that game. As coaches, do you guys sneak in here to see this game tomorrow? Um, we're not allowed to. Um, I'll right? be across the street watching it on TV. Yeah, this isn't our site. Um, we're allowed to go to our site and watch the opponents play. So unfair advantage to us to be able to come back and watch them play tomorrow. I'm not familiar with that rule. So that's an actual NCAA rule, or what? can you tell us about that? Um, that's what I've been told. That's as far as I looked into it. Once I was told that, then you know I kind of stepped back. Gotcha. Yeah. I, I makes sense. It is weird, though, to see the teams that you're going to play next are playing on your guys' floor, right? Um, it's, it's awesome to be able to host and um, to, to hear the feedback I've heard so far and everyone really enjoy, enjoying San Diego and enjoying our location. It's nice. Um, San Diego State's done an awesome job hosting, and obviously we have the new student union here as well. Um, so just great atmosphere all around, and to be able to have our team win and still be a part of it right now in Sweet 16, it just adds more on top of the cake. What sort of things can you teach these kids 
looking forward in the Sweet 16? Um, they're ecstatic. They're excited. Um, I've been there before, um, and for most of them, this is their first time uh, um, being able to see it and experience it. So um, things I can just teach them is just, you know, to be calm and in terms of preparation, um, really get down on the game plan and focus in and dial in and make sure you're taking care of your body right and being accountable and responsible for what you need to do all around, even though people are tagging on you here and there for attention and for, for time and just making sure to manage all that. I have to ask, I mean, this team compared to your team, what, what, what are the differences, similarities? Man, this team, so much heart. Obviously, um, a big stat for them is defense and, and how they really go about locking teams down. Um, that's one of the things we pride ourselves on. Um, that 34-3 that and 3 team, an amazing team, you know, the first team to really do it. Um, this team, they're not necessarily following the footsteps, they're making their own, and that's what I mo like most about this team. So. Uh, a lot different. Um, obviously, you got Xavier Thames, who's one of the big leaders and guys who step up every night. Um, this team is so different in the sense that you never really know who's going to be that guy to step up, and that's what makes it so dangerous at the same time. Thank you very much. For no problem. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys for coming out so late. No, you're good. You're good. Have a good night, guys.